there life after death? I believe there is. Why do you believe there is? Because, I don't know, I was raised Catholic, so I've always been taught to believe that. Have you been born again? No. Do you know what that means? To die and be alive again? No, no, that's reincarnation. To be born again, Jesus spoke of it in John chapter 3. He said, unless you're born again, you're not going to enter heaven. We better make sure you're born again. I don't want to see you in hell. I want to see you in heaven. Do you think there's an afterlife? Yeah. Why do you think there's an afterlife? Uh, same reason as her. I'm Catholic, so... Have you been born again? Nah, not yet. I don't think so. Have you ever heard the gospel? Like once. Not that often. Do you know what the gospel is? No. Do, how do you know if you've heard it? Do you know what the gospel is? Is it the Bible? No. It just simply means good news. And the good news is that God destroyed death through the gospel. And if you've never heard the gospel, you won't know how God destroyed death. So I'm going to share it with you and get your thoughts. If I've got a cure to a disease, I've got to convince you that you have the disease before you're going to appreciate the cure. Does that make sense? Yes. If I just come up to you and say, I've got a great cure, and you say, get out of my face. I don't want your silly cure, but if I tell you you've got cancer and you realize it, and you're going to die, and then I say, I've got a cure, then you'll say, oh, I need that cure. So you must learn about the disease before you'll appreciate and appropriate the cure. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're going to talk about the disease. It's not going to be very pleasant, but it's worth it. We're going to come out and talk about the cure. Can you concentrate? Yeah. Don't be distracted. I got you. Do you think you're a good person? Yeah. Do you think you're a good person? Yes. Okay, here comes the disease. How many lies have you told in your life? A lot. And what about you? A lot. So what do you call someone who tells lies? A liar. A liar. So what are you? A liar. Do you still think you're a good person? Yeah. And what about you? Do you still think you're a good person? Yes. Have you stolen something, even if it's small? No. And what about you? No. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yeah. And what about you? Yes. That's using God's name in vain, not giving it genuine honor or due honor, using it as a cuss word to express disgust. Appreciate your honesty. Now, Jesus said, if you look with lust, you commit adultery in your heart. Have you ever looked with lust, sexual desire at a guy? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever hated someone? Yeah. Yes. Bible says he who hates his brother is a murderer. You commit murder in your heart when you let hatred in. So, guys, here's a summation. This is the disease. It's not very pretty. It's kind of scary. But you both told me you're lying, blasphemous, adulterers, and murderers at heart. And you have to face God on Judgment Day. If he judges you by the Ten Commandments, who have looked at five, you're going to be innocent or guilty. Um, guilty? Guilty. Heaven or hell? Hell. Hell. Does that concern you? Yes. Does it concern you that if you died today, you'd end up in hell if God gave you justice? Yeah, now it concerns me a lot now. Do you know what death is according to the Bible? It's wages. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. In other words, God is paying you in death for your sins. Like a judge looks at a criminal that's murdered three women and says you've earned the death sentence. This is your wages. This is what we're paying you. And guys, sin is so serious to holy God, he's given you the death sentence. Your death will be evidence to you that God is deadly serious about sin. So that's the bad news. We're going to get to the good news now. This is the cure. What did God do so he wouldn't have to go to hell? I don't know that. You don't know? No, I don't. Do you know? He did sacrifice, no? He did a sacrifice. Died on the cross? Yeah. What does that mean to you 2,000 years later? How can that help you? I don't know. Let me tell you, this is the gospel, and then I'll get your thoughts on it. I'll be real quick. You got to go? No, I'm good. Okay. The Ten Commandments are called the moral law. You and I broke the law. Jesus came and paid the fine. That's why he said it is finished just before he died. He was saying paid in full. Guys, if you're in court and you've got speeding fines, even though you're guilty, a judge will let you go if someone else pays those fines. They say you're guilty. A lot of fines here, but you can leave because someone paid them. Well, God can legally let you live forever. He can take the death sentence off you because Jesus paid the fine and full on the cross and then rose from the dead and defeated death. And all you have to do to find everlasting life is repent of your sins. That's different than confessing them to a priest. You actually forsake your sins. You say, God, I'm a sinner. Go straight to the Lord and confess your sins, and then you turn from them continually. You don't call yourself a Christian, but you lie and steal and blaspheme and fornicate. That's just deceiving yourself. So you've got to be genuinely repentant. And then you trust in Jesus like you trust a parachute. At the moment, both of you are like someone on the edge of a plane 10,000 feet up. You know you have to jump, but this is your plan. You're going to flap your arms and try and save yourself. We'd say to someone that's doing that, or well, going to do that, don't do that. It's not going to work. Just trust the parachute. So don't try and save yourself on Judgment Day by saying, I'm a good person because it's not going to work because you're not a good person. You're like the rest of us. Just simply transfer your trust from yourself to the Savior. 
And the second you do that, you've got God's promise, you'll grant everlasting life as a free gift, not because you're good, but because he's good and kind and rich in mercy. Is this making sense? Yes. Making sense to you? Yeah. You gonna think about what we talked about? Yeah, on the way to work. And what about you? Yes, I am. So when are you gonna repent and be born again and put your faith in Jesus? Starting now. Really, and what about you? On Sunday when I go to church. Let's say you get killed before you go to church. You could die in your sleep tonight. You ought to take note from her, she says, right now. Yeah, I gotta start now. Yeah. You gotta start now. Can I pray for you guys? Yes. Let's bow in prayer, shall we? Father, I pray for this dear couple to realize their secret sins have been seen by you and that you're holy and righteous. And may they understand what you've done on the cross for them. And today, may they be genuinely sorry, repent and put their trust in Jesus and be born again and pass from death to life all because of your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can I give you a book I've written? Yes. And I think I've got one for you. I'll just have a look. I hope I've got enough. One moment. I'll bring them to you. There's only one left. Can I give it to you? Yes. It's called Scientific Facts in the Bible, and maybe you could read it and then pass it on to your friend then when you've read it. Do you have yeah, a Bible at home? I do. You do? Yes. And what about you? Do you have a Bible? Yeah, my grandma has one. Yeah. Open it up, Gospel of John, and read. There's nothing like it. And I'm so delighted at what you've both done today. And God will be as real with you as you are with him. If you leave here and say, I'm going to get back into porn, that was interesting. Nothing will happen. But if you are genuine, God will reveal himself to you in a way that's just, it'll amaze you and make you a brand new person in Christ. Real quick, here are three things to help you grow in your faith. The Living Waters Podcast, the Evidence Study Bible, 200 of the most commonly asked questions of the Christian faith, and much more. The Starter Kit, four of our most popular gospel tracks, available at livingwaters.com. If you haven't seen our video, Satan does this right when I get to the gospel. You really need to see it. You can watch it right now by clicking up to your left.